bring home the bacon. All right. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering what this one video I just posted was. It was a um, entry for a competition for a man by the name of Vintage Beef. And uh, I thought I'd just go ahead and show off what I did, how it was made and whatnot. Well, I gave a little bit of an explanation. I would think the description would be uh, explanation enough, but I know that a lot of you guys either have this undying hatred of the act of reading or don't know how. So this is for you guys. Don't say I'd never give you nothing. Anyways, so... Um, I'm obviously in creative mode, and you might have noticed it was 1.94 pre, uh, yeah, 1.9 pre-release four, however you want to say it. And uh, so I actually made the head here and the beef in uh, MC Edit. It's a third-party program where you can. Uh, it's used for making uh, Minecraft maps and so on and so forth, and. Uh, Inside of here, we have some redstone wiring, some, I say, and a bunch of TNT. It looks really complicated. What it is, is that it's actually exactly how it looks. This this took a while to do. Um, uh, also, the wiring in here was done with MC Edit and inside creative mode in-game. So the TNT here is all wired up, ready to go whenever this switch here turns off, which turns off whenever this switch turns on, which turns on after about, oh, I don't know, 10 seconds maybe, with all these uh, repeaters here slowing it down, which are triggered by this right here torch being turned off so that actually goes right here underneath the eye by two blocks so whenever I recorded it I was sitting here for a little while hoping the mobs would go away if they did not I promptly went over to them and killed them just like that Sometimes I went over and killed them just for the fun of it. Because in creative mode, I am God. Get over here. I am God in creative mode. So let's go ahead and hit the button. Destroy the button. Fly back over here to the view. Line up the cursor in between the eyes. Hit F1. And then we wait. We wait. We wait some more. We wait a little bit on Damn, that's loud. All right. So as you can see, despite all of that TNT, um, not everything got destroyed. And this one didn't even get freaking set off. Bastard. Um, Let's go ahead and set you off. Nope. Nope. Um... How about now? What if I do this? That'll do it. So yes, as you can see, uh, none of that really got destroyed. So what you're supposed to do, but since I'm not recording, I didn't do it, is pay attention to where the cursor was on the stake and behind. Fly up. Destroy the rest of these. Is it turning night? That sucks. You do this in the middle of the day so it doesn't turn night. Land. Put the cursor back where it was. And have a seamless transition through the magic of video editing. Um, yeah, this competition is to uh, get on a uh, server. Whoop. Uh, for the fans of... Um, a group called Minecrack. The more popular ones, Good, Boulderfist, and B Double O, uh, have done a lot of race for the wolves, uh, vex maps, multiplayer maps with uh, popular icons such as CoStar, 
and ethos, etho, and so on and so forth. So um, they're they're pretty popular now, and uh, they got uh, Goo got a new server for the fans of his series and other members of the Minecraft group who are consisted of a group who actually um, got on the server uh, the first server that Goode has via contest that he was holding so this is kinda like a second contest deal and uh, well, let's go ahead and make a day so Vintage Beef wants people to make him an intro and the winners I guess uh, he says top three but I thought it was supposed to be people picked five each maybe he's got maybe he only gets three and everybody else gets five or he's got another plan or something like that there's more steak over here <laughs> this is where I actually made it in uh, MC edit copy and pasted it over there because scenery's better and uh, head as well uh, original size Pixel perfect match to vintage beef skin. And um, this is all done with wool, by the way. And this is actually filled up, right? Yeah, with wood. So, yeah. Anyways, so um, some more practice over here. Originally done with wood. Anywho, um, so I hope I win because I'd really like to play on a Minecraft server because whenever I try to play with like Riff and Max and them and whatnot, there's always a whole bunch of lag because uh, we're running it on our own computers and everything. And um, there's also the fact that uh, if you join a public server, you get a whole bunch of griefers and crap and have to deal with a lot of mods and everything. And they just have essentially the official 1.9 pre-release 4 server and like no bucket or plugins or anything like that to use for it, no mods, anything like that. And it's actually hard to find a server without any of that stuff because a lot of mods are used just to protect against griefers and the like. So I'd really like to just uh, play with some people who are uh, kind of down to earth and cool and funny and um, they don't really seem like they'd be that difficult to get along with and just hang out and play Minecraft together and a bunch of other guys like me who share uh, similar interests in the Minecraft guys and become Minecraft guys ourselves I guess since I'm already a uh, I'm not a let's player I'm the Panda Man and I do playthroughs don't associate me with their kind. Anyways, but I already do um, playthroughs and so on and so forth. So if I did any on their server, I guess that'd be official Minecraft. I'm just rambling now, aren't I? Um, I don't really plan to do anything with this world other than what I've already used it for. And final little tidbits of information. How long did it take to do this? Well, it took probably about an hour to figure out how to use MC Edit, another Minecraft another Minecraft uh, member by the name of Baj has a pretty comprehensive tutorial over the basics of how to use MC Edit, but still when you hop in it's not as easy as just being as good at it as he is. Um, then actually building everything maybe three or four hours because again I didn't really know what I was doing never really done anything like that, was trying out different things for his skin color other than the wool his skin has like pretty dark peach color so orange wool ended up being the closest thing to it versus like wood or sand I originally tried sand anyways um, then it took two days to get a good video of the exploding head obviously it wasn't a full two days but I don't know how many times I made this stupid thing explode probably like <sighs> I don't know, 50 times maybe? It sounds about right. It doesn't sound like it's too low, too high. So we'll just say around 50 times I made his head explode and recorded it and went with one that looked good. As you can see, sometimes the TNT doesn't go off or there's a whole bunch of blocks in the way or mobs come on or TNT goes flying off and destroys the landscape. 
Um, there were different versions of that redstone wiring you guys saw. Um, it was really, uh, it was really quite a task, but I put a lot of effort into it because I wanted my entry to be good. Oh, there's swamp over here. Because I wanted my uh, entry to be good, and the best way to make something that looks like a lot of effort was put into it is to put a lot of effort <laughs> into it. And again, you know, I'd really like to. I'd really like to play with those guys. Be, be fun, be cool. Anyway, so this is how I made it. This is how it works. That's how much time I put into it. That's why I made it. You guys don't have to uh, be concerned about it. As a matter of fact, I would prefer it if you guys didn't try to enter in the competition yourselves, if you didn't know about it, because that's more competition against me, and I prefer it if you guys didn't do that to me. Thanks a bunch. And... Uh, <laughs> Um, more, uh, I guess I should say more Skyblock and more regular Minecraft on the way along with Borderlands. So keep an eye out for more videos and uh, if there's another competition, if I don't win this and one of the other guys holds a competition that requires a video, you can expect me to enter in those competitions as well. So thanks for sticking through just this video of me talking and flying around and I'll see you guys next time.